Great publicity for this game in the Emirates FA Cup. I'm Martin Tyler, and this is Alan Smith. Yeah, good afternoon, Martin. Looking forward to this. The papers have been full of it this week, and I hope we're not disappointed. Well, we're looking at a potential star for Southampton in this match. No doubt about that. His finishing ability is spectacular. It has been down the years. I know he works hard on it in training, and you can see the results on the pitch. He's put in the starting 11 today, but he has been transfer listed as well. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed really that the manager has decided to play him, but it's a chance for him to show his wares. This is the home team lineup. This is the way they like to play, isn't it? And it does allow them, with three at the back, to have two main attackers up front, which is a little bit unusual these days. Well, you look at that formation, and you could interpret it as being a little negative, especially if that holding midfielder in front of the back three doesn't venture too far forward. But uh, an onus Thank on the you. wide men as well to support those two lads up front. The Saints have made one change. James Ward-Prowse plays with Mario Lamina in the centre of the park. And Mikhail Antonio plays up front with André Pierginia. Ball on the centre spot. And that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special. And every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. Collins, now done. It's looking good, this move. It's a poor touch and the... Possession's gone away. It's Ward Prowse. I think the referee's showing how he's going to officiate this match. It's going to be a free kick. He's not going to stand any nonsense. Only partially away from danger. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. To put them in front. Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. It made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Must take the lead here. No, he's missed it. How is this still level? Oh, you'll be thinking about that one, tossing and turning in bed tonight. That was a bad miss. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Made the challenge well. James Ward-Prowse. Here's Lemina. Pierre-Emile Hoibierg. Gignac. It's Ward-Prowse. Antonio. Steered through. Antonio. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. The manager won't be too happy with that. They're cut out by the defender. This is a message for away supporters. At full time, can you please remain where you are and your coach will meet you be a throw. the stand. Thank you. Gignac. And oh, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in.
Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Gignac. Southampton trying to use the width in this attack. He's through here. Here's Lemina. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg. James Ward Prowse. Incisive pass. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. It's good. Really in the clear now. In on goal. And that is the first goal. And it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day. The goal from Gignac, and he's put his laces to it from outside the box, and he's been rewarded there with a superb goal. Different angle on it here. Southampton in front. Collins working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. It's Ward Prowse. James Ward Prowse. One back very quickly. But he's caught offside. And you see what he's trying to do. It's all about the timing of the run. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. To bring them level. And it's in, the equaliser. <laughs> Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. Another angle on it here. Every manager wants to see his team have bounce back ability, as we say, and he's just seen that from his players. It is uh, level, both sides have scored here now. Here's Lemina, Gignac. Hoybia, back with Antonio. Strong challenge. Neatly intercepted. And now the referee says free kick. Just going to be a talking to, he's not reaching for a card. He's quite lucky there, fortunate to say the least. Defended well. Oh, well, they've gone and got it now, and maybe an opportunity. Hit the post. So close. Inches of good vision. Not able to take full advantage of a good position. Collins. Just worried about the rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, we're nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. It's Ward Prowse. Trying to steer it through. certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that and that's the way to defend make sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch 
really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Here's Collins. Now done. Chance from the pass. Surely he's blocked that well. It looked a certain goal until the defender managed to get some contact. That's just instinct, but that is top defended. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Now done. Got in the way. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Oh, he got it away, but in the end, straight to an opponent. Oh, listen to those fans, they're how excited. They probably weren't expecting their team to get too many chances today, but this might be one of them. Not quite good enough so far, Alan. Yeah, you can only say it must get better from a quality player. To have this few touches is really unlike him. Has a go here! It's a top effort, really, but it's just too high. Maybe next time, that kind of effort will be on target. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? It has been really lively. Might just be kicking himself that he couldn't add to that goal, but hitting the woodwork. Well, the rain has continued through half-time, and it is relentless. This pitch can only take so much more water. Excellent interception. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Very safe to play it back to the goalkeeper. He's good with his feet. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Well, Prowse! Brilliant reach by the goalkeeper to make the save. Wow, I think even his defenders are shocked at that. Corner's taken. So close with that header. Oh, he's good at that, isn't he? He really does connect well with those neck muscles. Reed. The ball to Duck. Guiding it through. And it's a goal. They've scored here. And they are now in the lead. Well, they've got the lesser players here, Alan, but they're trying to show that the whole is greater than the sum of the individual parts, and they've got a goal. Didn't they just, what they are, Martin, is a good team. They stick together. They've got the reward here. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. Off we go again, 2-1. James Ward-Prowse. Well, he wondered how much money Milan had to spend. Here's your answer. Well, he doesn't come cheap, about £60 million, pounds, but he is the kind of player that can make a difference. Steered through. And here is done. That shot's blocked very quickly. Here's Reed. Excellent piece of defensive play under some pressure, I must say. Pierre Emile Hoybierg. Trying to catch the player in possession. Now done. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. 
But there's still time to go, Alan, isn't there? And time for this to change. But to this point, the side that wasn't fancied to win the game are playing really well. And it's theirs to lose now. It is. Uh, and what's got them into this position is uh, fantastic concentration, I think. It's not going to be easy to continue that right up till the end. But uh, if they can, they're going to win it. Here's Collins. Going to be a change for Southampton. A sub's going to come on. Slipping it through. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Real chance. With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. To be replaced by number 14, Oriol Ramuro. Put the corner in the middle. Well, the goalkeeper takes charge here from the corner. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Here's Hoybjerg. Opportunity in a wider area. Oh, the possession squandered in a good position. And now they've got to get back. Not a nice challenge. What will the ref do? Oh, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind, but that was a yellow card. I don't know, you know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's tried to go for the slide tackle, and uh, he's a faction off getting the ball. It is a foul. There's some big lads in that box waiting for a cross. I'd be hoping not to be disappointed. And the goalkeeper makes the save. Making sure there's no turnover. Collins. Pierce. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Break quickly when they get possession. Can really get at the opposition here. No nonsense defending from him. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. And the referee's given the free kick. Collins. Quick-witted and quick in this movement too to intercept there closing minutes for Southampton and they're in trouble well the manager on the sidelines waving his centre halves forward could be route one stuff now Southampton lining up a substitution now Little Pierce trying to steer it through for the shot it's a fine save I'm not sure how relevant it's going to be at the end of it all well it won't be popular if the opposition go and get an equalizer here I can tell you he's put in the corner what an opportunity to wrap up the match oh yeah that's what you need to be in these situations clinical have no mercy they just didn't show it there Well, we've had some chances, Alan, but it's a while since we've had a goal. They've still got the lead. Yeah, and they're knocking the ball about. In behind the defenders. They can finish them off here, and he scores spectacularly. And that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget.
Well, the goal scorer is celebrating. He should be celebrating the technology as well because I don't think it would have been given if we hadn't moved into this era of the game. No, this is where it's worth its weight in gold and everybody can go home knowing that the right decision has been made. Three one the score line as we restart the game. Yoshida, Gignac, Oriol Romeo. Had to play well. Oriol Romeo. In quickly. Pierce. Four extra minutes to play here of added time. Four minutes of added time. Gignac. Antonio. Looking for a through ball. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. And they get it away. Hoybier. Oriol Romeo. Antonio and shoots. That's a good block. Corner now for Southampton. Here comes the corner. Oh, nowhere near. No. The game is over here. The final whistle has gone. And the final scoreline is 3-1. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Taking home the match ball and thoroughly deserved. Pleasure to be here to see him grab that hat-trick in what was a really accomplished team performance. the first goal and it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day to bring them level and it's in the equalizer by the goalkeeper to make the save. Wow, I think even his defenders are shocked at that. Guiding it through. And it's a goal. They've scored here. And they are now in the lead. Oh, the possession squandered in a... Not a nice challenge. What will the ref do? Well, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind that that was. Trying to steer it through. Space for the shot. It's a fine save. I'm not sure how relevant it's going to be at the end of it all. Well, he won't be popular. He's put in the corner. What an opportunity to wrap up the match. Oh, yeah, that's what you need to be in these situations. Clinical, have no mercy. They just didn't show it there. They can finish them off here, and he scores spectacularly. And that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget.